the President of the Republic of Uganda, Your Excellency the Vice President, the Right Honorable Speaker, all protocol of love. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Ministry of Justice and Constitutional Affairs, I'm delighted to welcome you all to the launch of the Red Stock Compensation Payment for all debt claimants and beneficiaries for Acholi, Lango, and Teso subregions. I extend my sincere thanks to the President of the Republic of Uganda for the directives he gave between 2009 and 2014. I also wish to extend my appreciation to the MPs, RCCs, RDCs, district chairpersons, chief administrative officers, resource and officials who continue to support the verification and validation exercise for genuine claimants in the affected subregions. As you may be aware, Acholi, Lamo, and Teso subregions were most affected by insurgencies that were perpetuated by the LRA and other rebel movements. This had adverse effect on the social and economic movement of the regions, which resulted in considerable loss of livestock. In December 2003, some livestock claimants and beneficiaries from the above subregions affected by the LRA insurgency instituted multiple suits in the high courts of Guru, Lira, and Teso in respect of their claims. These high court suits were instituted against the government of Uganda. Subsequently, between 2009 and 2013, His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, issued directives to the Ministry of Justice and Constitutional Affairs to amicably settle these court cases and claims for the war against claimants. An interministerial verification committee was constituted to verify, evaluate, and confirm claims of genuine livestock claimants and beneficiaries in the affected subregions. The interministerial committee, in conjunction with the local government authorities, conducted verification exercises in 2016 and the report was submitted to the office of the president. The report that was submitted had claimants, stroke beneficiaries, from the three subregions as follows. A Chori subregion, 16,946. Lango subregion, 42,000. 42. Teso subregion 33,664, making a total of 92,652. The validation exercise commenced with a display of lists of claimants, stroke beneficiaries, compiled in 2016 at each and every district and subcommittee headquarters in the subregion. We are talking of the 29 districts in the three subregions. The purpose of the display was to enable the claimants, among others, to confirm the details of their claims compiled in 2016, to enable claimants to prepare the rightful documents for submission during the exercise and to identify and expose non genuine claimants and fraudsters with inflated claims or fictitious ones. 
the sensitization exercise was also conducted to inform the claimants and beneficiaries of the documents required at the validation stage of the exercise, which included at the time the national identification, the national identity card, tax identification numbers, veterinary cards, and recommendation letters from district leadership. Pursuant to HP, the President's directive, the requirement for the tax identification number or mean number was waived. The district structures, right from the LC files to sub counties, were fully integrated in the exercise to confirm the genuine claimants and beneficiaries from the affected sub regions. Ledger or data cards were issued to capture the biodata of claimants in the three sub regions to each and every district. Three copies of the data cards were sent from the ministries of justice and constitutional affairs for each and every claimant in the three sub regions. The data cards were for free and they are not to be paid for. They are intended to collect biodata of the claimants, a copy will remain with the claimant, a copy remains at the district where one copy is returned to the Ministry of Justice and Constitutional Affairs. Here, uh, we need to understand the district of Moro and the Sub-County and Bangura and Padel and one other sub-counties had issues with their data cards and we are going to see to see how to correct that anomaly. Upon completion of the validation exercise by the districts, the districts were required to submit these data cards of the genuine claimants back to the ministry to commence the process of payment.